A lot of talk this week about Jamie Dixon and the Pitt basketball program being at a, a crossroads of sort, and there's certainly some truth to that, a lot of truth to that, and we could spend a lot of time talking about that. But it got me thinking about the other side, about the football side, about Pat Narduzzi, and I realized, you know, as much as we want to talk about Jamie Dixon and Pitt basketball being at a crossroads, there's a certain element of being at a crossroads for Pat Narduzzi and the Pitt football program right now. And you look at where the Pitt football program is as Pat Narduzzi comes into his first year as head coach, and you almost have to go all the way back to 2009, the last time Pitt really had any notable success. They won 10 games that year. Since then, in the five seasons since 2009, they've been 33-32 and 32 overall. In the last four seasons, 25 and 27, 6 and 7, 6 and 7, 7 and 6, 6 and 7. Pitt fans know this. They don't need me to repeat it, and they probably don't want me to because it's not fun to think about. And that whole not being fun part carried over to the fan base. There's malaise, there's disinterest among the fans, and even worse, among the city. And so you get these miserable attendances that you saw last season at Heinz Field. And that's the program Pat Narduzzi took over. And change was needed. Some kind of jolt was needed in this football program to, to spark it up, to change that course, that direction of six and six seasons. And change has come. A new chancellor, a new athletic director, and a new head coach. And the thing those three guys, Patrick Gallagher, Scott Barnes, and Pat Narduzzi respectively, have going for them is that none of that mediocrity that I just talked about, that six and seven, that stench of six win seasons over and over and over again, save for you know one bowl game win in Detroit, None of that mediocrity and malaise is attached to these three guys. Gallagher, Barnes, and Narduzzi, it's not part of them at all. They have no, no responsibility for it. It's not their doing. And they're at a crossroads now with this football program. They have a chance to achieve their first real success in six years. Or they can go the other way and drift back. And the Pitt fans who, I almost think in a morbid way, like to say things like, same old Pitt, will once again have that opportunity. And Pat Narduzzi, he's done his part so far. He's built hype among the fans. There's a lot of good vibes coming out of the Pitt football program, and I think Pitt fans would agree with that because they're buying in. To a large extent, I see Pitt fans buying in to this whole sort of atmosphere of change around the Pitt football program. And I think even some sports fans in the city of Pittsburgh, which is such an important market that Pitt is trying to tap into, those general sports fans in the city, they're, they're taking notice. But the program's at a crossroads. And we all know that next step. They've got to win, and they've got to win this year. And to his credit, Pat Narduzzi, has, he's accepted that. He's embraced it. He's even insisted on it. He expects to win right now, and he knows the value of it. Whether for the fans who have bought into the hype so far, the recruits who have bought into the hype so far, there needs to be the results. And so as we sit here just about to start May and heading into the offseason, the, the, the real offseason of the summer after spring football before the season starts, Pit football is at a crossroads, and the head coach knows it, and he's embraced it. And if they can get out there and win, this program can really move forward.